Hello and welcome back to Transports Fever. Thank you very much for joining me this episode. And uh, last time out, we... What did we do? I think we did some... No, not that. I think we did some upgrades to trains. I know a few people have been asking for the big boy. I think I might upgrade this to the big boy. Possibly not in this episode, but maybe in the next one. So do stay tuned for that. So we did that. We did a little bit of work everywhere um, with buses. So if we have a look around, for example, down here, you can see that we've got these nice, lovely buses here now. So we can use these, which take uh, 11 passengers each. And at the moment are taking none over here, but I'm sure in other cities they are rather busy. Uh, for example, I'm sure they are busy in Detroit. Here we go. They're carrying 11 passengers. There we go. That's a full bus. Honestly, I feel I can carry more than 11, though. Just having a look at that, it looks like it can carry... Uh, let's see. One, two, three, four, five. I think that can carry about 22 or 23 people. But anyway, there you go. So that's that's that. Um, very nice, very nice bus. I something something about this bus looks a little bit familiar to me, but I just can't I can't put my finger on it. But anyway, that's what we did in the last episode, and then we went up here. I'm going in and out, in and out, up here, and we did some work on the rail, trying to get this part of the rail sort of working its way around along the coast as you can see as best as we possibly could and then it went into this tunnel over here and then this was the slight issue we had where it was going as you oop, as you can see that's quite an uphill climb but uh, unfortunately there wasn't anything else we could do so in this episode we're going to be running that line as far over as we can towards Sudbury and Sault Ste. Marie that's the idea in this episode at least at least the passenger line and maybe if we can get the freight line connected up over here then we're going to do that I did ask for comments and nobody left comments uh, about that so um yeah that's a little bit disappointing but uh, there we go you know that that's that's that that's what's happened but anyway let's uh, get on with that before we do so it looks like we've got a problem over here with uh, train 93 which is uh, train 93 is one of these freight ones isn't it I think. I'm guessing it's this one. I'm guessing it's this one right here. Yep, that's train 93. Okay. So the problem is it's, it says no path. Uh, clearly, if I were to turn that around, job done. I'm, I'm not sure what happened there. But there we go. That's, that's uh, sorted. Okay. Well, that's that. Easy. Easy fix. Great, now we can get on with the rest of this video. What's going on here? I've just got a, just a little junction on the road and that's about it. That looks a bit awkward. That's really awkward, that is. I kind of want to get rid of that. There we go. That just looks so much cleaner. I don't know what the AI were trying. They really need to, they do need to improve upon that AI, but uh, anyway. Let's get, get what we're doing done as we come towards the close of this series. I have been mentioning this for a few weeks. Uh, see, series 3 is not too far away. Right, now, let's see what we, we've got here. If I were to try and follow the... There we go. Just nice and gently curve this down. Uh, yeah, Series 3 is, or Season 3, is almost upon us. I'm waiting for the auto-save. I'm not waiting for the auto-save, but uh, I'm waiting for I'm waiting for the performance update to be done. Uh, but I am working very, very hard on getting se Season 3 ready for you guys. Um, if you have access to my Discord server, uh, you, as patrons, you will, you will be able to see what's going on. Um, I think there's been I've been talking a lot on there as to as to the plans and what I'm doing and everything everything like that. You know what? I'm, I think I've got a feeling I'm just going to cut this a little bit more. I feel like I feel like that a slight cut there will be a, a lot better. Yeah, I feel like that's going to be better for it. There we go. It's not a huge difference, but it is going to make a it is going to make a difference on the acceleration of the 
of the tree. There we go. You can see there. There's the difference. You just see it right there. But anyway, yeah. So if you, if you're on my if you're on my Discord server uh, by supporting me on Patreon, a uh, link to that is in the description box below. You will have seen uh, exactly what I'm doing with Series Three and Season Three uh, uh, in detail. You would have seen. If you don't if you don't follow that, then um. What I'm doing for Series 3 is I am going to be uh, in in the United Kingdom and we're going to be doing a super, super detailed map, uh, which I'm actually in the middle of developing right now. I've spent about, I think about 11 hours so far, uh, I've spent developing this map. So it's um, it's not an easy map to develop, but I have, I have spent a, a fair amount of time so far and there is still a lot more to come. Right, how are we going to do this? I need to bring the terrain back up whilst I'm talking to you guys. Oh, you know what? I could have fed it through here. And then feed it through that gap. Yeah, let me try that instead. I'm going to try that instead. Uh, so from here, we've got this dip here, but I'm going to try and feed it around there. So... We're going to have a bit more of a swing. No, I want you to stay level. Like that, 90, and then... That's going to be a slow corner, but you know what? Given the given the nature of where we are and what we're doing, I feel like a 40 mile an hour corner is... is kind of okay. Uh, you know what? I made a mistake there. There we go. That's better. Yeah, let's try that. Okay, let's try and run that all the way around. Like that, like that, and like that. Yeah, I think that's a lot better. And then we're going to swing it right through this area here. It's a shame we can't hide trees. I remember in Railroad Tycoon we had an option to hide trees. And I used to use that quite often. So we'll go like that, and then... Should try and get 50 out of this. There we go, we just got 50. Just about. Fantastic. So yeah, I am going to be in the United Kingdom for for the third series, and we're going to be doing a lot of um. Ah, that's not exactly how I wanted it. Did I did I make a mess up here? No, there is just a the ground just does not stay flat. Oh great. I didn't notice that because of all the trees. If there's an option to hide trees, someone let... Maybe there is. No. I can't find an option to hide trees. In Railroad Tycoon, we used to press the H key and it would hide trees. Does it do that here? No, H goes for help. Ooh, maybe it's in help. Let's have a look. Show hide loads of stuff, but... uh. Show high terrain. Oh no, that's just a menu. Terrain modifier. Contour lines, data layers. No. No, there isn't, unfortunately. But yeah, so I'm going to be, like I said, in the UK and we're going to be doing a very highly detailed series. Uh, you guys can actually, like I said, if you do support me on Patreon, then you guys will be able to see everything that I'm planning to do. This is going to be really horrible terrain to work through I've got to find some areas to to work through here down here sweeping it through that looks good so I've got to somehow end up there I should be able to nope that's no good uh, nope that's no good okay that may be my best bet to get through great right uh, there's a I can see a contour line there so if I do this Along here, great. And there. Anyway, back to season three, as I was saying. Season three is going to be based in the UK, and it's going to be uh, a lot of detail in there. I have not decided yet. Initially, the idea was to have it uh, with, I was planning to have it with um, costs enabled, but having a look at the plans and how I'm trying to do things now, Having costs enabled may just hinder my progress too much. 
So with, with it hindering, with the possibility of it hindering my progress, I feel as though it may not be the best idea to to do that. So yeah, I'm going to be asking on Discord anyway. As it comes closer to the time, I'm going to ask on Discord what people want to see and what they would prefer on in terms of uh, costs and stuff like that. Why is that doing that? Go here. There you go. Uh, no, not you. And you can go across there. And if they, you know, if if they really want costs, if there's an overwhelming majority that says yes, do costs, and because you guys all hate me, then yeah, I, I will do costs. I will put the costs on here. But uh, all right, what sort of dip is there there? Oh yeah, I can see that dip now. I see that's what I want. But now there's a cut. Is there a way to swing it? Maybe here. Maybe just here. This looks alright. Uh, that's... Oh, that's that dip that's going in there. If I can swing around this side of it and then... No, we need to get down to this side, don't... Wow, that's actually a lot... Steeper than I thought. Oh, boy. This area of terrain is really bad. I, just, I wish I had the time to have a look at that track planning tool in, in all its depth because I think it would have been really fantastic for me. But unfortunately, it looks like this is how we're going to have to do things for now. I thought as much. I thought this might get difficult. But yeah, like I said, on Discord, then I'll be asking a few questions so people can tell me what they want to see and what they don't want to see. And I will try my best to accommodate that. I will try my absolute best to accommodate that, and we'll we'll work from there. You know what? I feel like this can be sort of flattened out. There we go. That's where I want the track to go. So I'm going to actually the earth that I've been digging up is the earth I'm going to use to to flatten this out a little bit to allow me to better better navigate this terrain there we go that that looks like something that'll be a little bit easier to navigate so let's go ahead and navigate yeah that's a lot easier right can I possibly bring that back just a smidge so I don't have that cut I think I can so potentially I do this instead Yep, that looks that looks a lot better. Yep, that looks a lot lot better. That that works for me. Then that should there you go. That prevents the cut. Now to see, we want to try and get it. Is it through here? We want it. I can't remember now. I think it was through here. We wanted it through here, and then. Um, Wow, this is uh, through here. I don't want it to go up here because I don't see any point in it going up here. But that being said, this area is a lot easier to navigate the terrain. So is this area. And this is where I want the split. So, or, yeah, because this area is just going to be horrendous to get through. So if that was the split, it goes up here. I think through this forest. Also save. Goes through this forest. Along this area. Now there's a ridge line there. Oh, I can see a contour line right there. There you go. You can actually see where the where the hill drops off. Um and then I wanted to go through here, didn't I? And then go through there. I mean, I'm not even half the way through this. I'll go through here. Look at that. That's going to be horrendous. I regret wanting to connect up Thunder Bay. Uh, what about if I went along... I can't really stick it along the coast. Can I? Or, hold on. If I went through here, tried to raise it up and then wind through that, around there then join up to that 
Nope, then that goes down like so. I need it to stay up. Okay, I'm going to see what happens if... If I were to just want to do this, what would it give me? Just out of absolute random curiosity. And where was it that I wanted to join? Yep, yeah, it was about here. Yep, yeah, that'll do. Let me just see what, you, what do you want. So you want a cut right through there, which I'm not too happy about. You want a tunnel of a gazillion miles. And a huge cut through all of that. A huge cut along all of that. A huge tunnel, a double tunnel there. And then up and about over here. Now, this isn't terrible. This isn't terrible. This I can deal with. And a, this section of tunneling here I can deal with. So that part I am okay with. It's And I can go up and down here, not a problem. Going around here is not a problem. It's this part here I'm, I don't like. That's the part I really don't like. There's got to be a better way to do that. What if I was joining you up over here? Okay. Now you want something crazily different. But, uh, okay, let's... No, I want you to be... I don't want you to join like that. Okay, stop, 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 stop. Let's try... Just bring it out from there. There we go. Just randomly bring it out from there. And up towards... There it is. I was going to say, where is the track gone? Okay. There. Okay. What do you want? So now that's actually a, a valid connection that we've got. So with a valid connection... Uh... See, now that goes up and down. Realistically, I'd want that to probably loop out from there then. If it's going to loop all the way around like that, I, I would rather it... Well, actually, that would look kind of fancy. The thing is, we're also looking for what would look fancy. I kind of don't want that, though. I wouldn't mind it going up and then down again. That I wouldn't mind. Goes around there. We can avoid that. I'm sure we can find a way to avoid that. And then it wants to bridge up here. Now that's interesting. A bridge wouldn't be too bad. Another bridge and then there's the two tunnels again. The same two tunnels we had. A bit of a bridge and then connect. That, I can, I can deal with that. I don't mind that. Yeah, I actually don't mind that. Okay. Okay, so let's do this. Let's do this. Let's try and take it out from here and do some, some work here. So we'll go uh, from here. Now we've got four tracks going to four tracks. But I think at this point it's only going to be two. So realistically what I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, bring... Right, how, how do I do this? What's going to be the best way to do this? Should I do two and two? Or should I do two across like that and then two across the other way? I feel like two and two might be the best bet. So if I were to do this, like so, and then go across two tracks and then do that, to me that feels like that's going to be the best junction that we can have. And that's naturally all flat, so that's a good thing. Now what we can do is is it possible for us to pull this back? It is. So what we could do is we could pull that back there and pull that back there. No, not like that. Yep, do that now. There you go. It's still got the flat, but it's no longer... That's good. That's really good. That I like. That looks like a very professional, professionally made smooth junction. And we don't have to double, we won't slip these quite yet. I mean, the ones that really need slipping is going to be that one and that one. But we're not going to do that just yet. At this point in time, we're just going to try and work out how do we get this going up and down and around. So, 
We actually want it to be... How do we want this to go? We want it to come along here, but then turn around. So how, how are we going to do that? So if we were to bring... Right, let's have a look at where this is going. See, that goes up, and that's alright. The way that goes up is okay. So if I were to try and do... Uh, get that. Look, there you go. You can see, that's going up, and there's some trees in the way, so it's going to look fancy. So that goes up like that. So any train that's along here might see another train heading uphill. I'm happy about that one. And then coming around. Okay. And it comes back down. So what if what if we tried our best to keep it going up? 60 miles an hour. Ah, that's no good. Yeah, no, that's no good. I should have seen that one coming. In fact, I did see that one coming. I was just hoping that there would be a way to solve it, but apparently not. Alright, well, we want to keep this flat then. What, what if we did that? Sure, that looks okay. That definitely looks okay. And then, now we get rid of that. And then we've got the whatever we need to do. So now if I attempted to connect this, so let's... Uh, Bring this one along. Right up to the end. Yeah, that doesn't look too bad. Look, it looks like a, a much more uh, sort of high, higher raised level of train. So you can have trains going along there. And on top of that, we could even put trains down here for some bizarre reason. I don't know. We'll make something up here with this iron factory, I suppose. Yeah, in fact, we will make something up with that iron factory. I don't know how and I don't know why and I don't know where, but we'll, we'll do something. So now I'm going to just randomly do that attempt to get over to where we need to get to, which is this one here. And let's see what it's giving us. So we should still have the bridge and two tunnels. There's a bridge and two tunnels followed by a long bridge. There's the long bridge followed by another long bridge. Ah, the other long bridge is gone. We had two long bridges. One of them has now disappeared. All right. All right. That's that's all right. That's not a problem with me. Now, this looks okay. I want to clean that bit up. All right. Let's try and clean this up a little bit. So, where do we go? Should we try and swing it around? Right. Hold on. Okay, I'm going to badly use that track planning tool again. I know, I know this isn't how you use it. I know. Um, nobody has to tell me that because I, I am aware of this. I am definitely aware of this. But let's let's try it out. So we're going to give it a, a curve uh, to the right. Oh, that's maybe a bit too far. Okay. Now, see, that's quite... That's quite high. And then we're going to try and go curve to the left, right? Uh, why is that doing that now? I thought I managed to have that snapped track. Okay, hold on, hold on. Something something interesting is... Right, autosave. I've just noticed something. So we've got the curve to the right and the curve to the left. We've got this bit in the middle. That's probably the safe that's probably the better way to go. In all honesty. That looks like the better way to go. Ah. Okay. And then we can literally just go straight over this. And then oh, we go straight over that, then here. And then in. Okay. That looks better. So this thing does come in handy even when you don't know how to use it. So if we do this... Yeah, see that's a... It's not ideal, I'll be honest. Although, what if I did... Just out of curiosity, what if I did this? 
But look at that. That's not too bad. It goes down, then it goes back up. There's that climb, that gradient we wanted, but we could even... We could possibly negate the the hill on that. There we go. Okay, so we've got a bit of a crest here that we can clean up. We should be able to clean that up. Then we curve in. Mm, maybe not, not quite like that. Let's do that, and then there we go. Okay, okay. Should we try and give it a 60 mile an hour corner? Okay. And now from this point, where does the connection go? I know this is taking a long time, but this is... This is unfortunately how track lane goes. There we go. Okay. Right. So. Pretty much straight through there. That looks that looks fantastic. We're, we've now only got... We've got one tunnel there. We've got another little tunnel there. And then it's just pretty much a straight shot through all of this. Right. Okay. What if now I were to just try and go... Let's try and clean this up. So we'll go slightly uphill. Ooh. Oh, yep. Yeah. No, no, no. That's all right. See if we can extend that bridge as much as we can. We'll give it that bridge. Yeah, we'll extend that bridge. We'll, we will give it that bridge. So it's above the forest. I, I'll, I'm happy with that. I am happy with that one. And then, from there, right, we've got a slight cut. It goes into this cut. What we can do is if we were to bring back the end of that, that should, should hopefully smooth that out. There you go. Right, okay, now what do we have? Oh, no, that's not the way. There we go. That's the way. Okay, now what do we have? So now we've got bridges, and still we've still got one tunnel, and then we've got a bridge that expands for, well, about infinity. That's a bridge that's a little bit too big. What if I did that? Yeah, those bridges are just a little bit too big. So I'm just going to go back along here. Let me do that. Um, no, 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 no. I see, I see a possibility here. I do see a possibility along there, and then see that ridge line just there. Along that, if I can get it there. So we'll go 90 miles an hour, and then along that ridge line. Oh, that's kind of, that's sort of where I wanted it. It's, it's there. It's kind of there. Then we're going to go across the bump. Okay. No. Okay. No, 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 no. Let's see what we've got now. Hopefully, if I finish this in the next couple of minutes, then uh, I should be able to finish this in a couple of minutes. It's not too far to go. Right. Right. What I'm going to do here is I want to keep it along this flat section here. Can you see this? We'll keep it along there. Swing it in there into this area from here. And then we're expecting a tunnel. That's what I'm expecting. Okay. So that's what I'm going to do. Let's bring it down into this flat section. Or flatter section. There we go. Bring it down into the flatter section. Not exactly all too all too fast, but we are bringing it down. Okay. Uh, slight uphill there. We might be able to clean that bit up. 90 miles an hour. Straighten that up. All right. So we've just got, got to watch the up, up and down here. Don't mind a little bit of it, but I'm trying to... See, we don't want to do that. So I'd rather we I'd rather we kept this sort of turning everywhere at a lower speed. 
where we're actually able to well that's just gone all wrong oh right yeah we've just gone into a dip that's just terrible that's terrible okay we'll go back we'll go back okay we'll we'll try and swing it maybe at 70 to about there and then bring it around there we go that's a lot better that's the kind of track I wanted again 70 miles an hour there we go yep that's that's working for me that's definitely working for me now we're going to have a bit of an uphill gradient here because it drops off just here but if I were to let's see if I were to smooth this out just a little bit just this area along here that should help and I know we're, we're at we're pretty much out of time but this is big this is big this is important there we go we're almost there and I kind of want to get this done in this video so um, since there was no video on Saturday I guess I can I can go over time a little bit and I'm sure you guys won't mind there we go okay this is good this is good now the turn up into that is absolutely perfect and then we're not too far out that turn is exactly what I wanted that's it that couldn't have gone any better that was exactly the turn I wanted and then let's see what the connections like so we'll, we'll swing it onto this one for now go, go over here there we go all right we've got uh, a bridge uh, two tunnels an embankment another bridge and then some non bridgey stuff right so over here what if I were to loop this around that is going that's going to be really slow uh, that's going to be really slow but but if I brought it around here if I bring it around here so I brought it around there then along there that will help that will help certainly all right let's do it so if we were to bring this out that way let's actually do it on this one here let's see what happens now now we want to try and bring that up not as steeply as that all right so maybe that downhill is not a good idea we'll try and keep it from going downhill I think the same sort of curvature though there we go okay that's good so now we can essentially go right the way around this yep we can go all the way around this we've got that as we wanted yep we're going to have a little bit of an up and down here as you can see but it's not too bad at all we'll do that and then off this side there we go off that side we can now now let's see what the connections like just a random connection between two points bridge tunnel tunnel and not so much in the way of embankments now okay we're getting there we're definitely getting better let's uh bring that over here we'll bring this one over here we'll bring this one over here like that leave it in the comments box which which train you want to see going to thunder bay uh, do you want to see one from Chicago go all the way around to Thunder Bay from this way from this way? You tell me how you want it because then I'll have to probably do some work here But you tell me how you want the trains to go and where from where do you want to see it going from? Do you want to see one going from Ottawa to Thunder Bay? Do you want to see one going from Toronto to Thunder Bay or where the first one and we will run that in the next video Right, so that's that Or at least we'll set it up and if I were to bring it into this section here and then in, we should be okay. So let's get that over to this section somehow. Right, that's an embankment I did not want. I can bridge it. I can bridge that. Right, what type of bridge? No, that's not clever. Ooh, box girder. Should we go for a box girder bridge? I feel like that's not going to be nice. I don't like concrete bridges they don't look they just don't look classy at all where's our stone bridges classic stone 
No, I think we'll do something different. Let's use these, um, let's use this truss. Triangulated truss. There you go. I can deal with that. That for me is a good bit of engineering. Apart from, uh, this bit here. That's a really bad bit of engineering. That makes no sense. At all. Right there. That makes no sense. The rest of it, fantastic bit of engineering. Good triangulation. Everything works well. This bit here, no. Just no. There's no support there. But it's okay. Right. Lastly, let's see what the connection's like now. Aha! Now we get an, a single tunnel. Now I, I can do with a single tunnel. I can certainly I can certainly do with a single tunnel. So I'll tell you what, let's see what happens. Let's try and bring this into this very smoothly. Watching that line there. Now which side of the track am I on? Right, no, we need to give it a little bit of space just to ensure that we can get another track in like that. Okay, okay, now. Single tunnel. That I can do. That I can certainly do. As a matter of fact, I think I can make that even better. If I were to do something on, along the lines of this, I think that's, that looks just a little better. Alright. Uh, should, should we take that? I feel like... I feel like doing that might even be better. I will take that. I will take that one. Let's give ourselves a really nice tunnel entrance as well. What what tunnel entrances do we have? We've got this one. We've got this one. That looks fancy. You know what? I want to use... I really do want to use this one. This is the one I wanted to use earlier and it, and it messed up. So let's use it now. Hopefully that keeps that type of tunnel. Yes, it does. All right, there we go. There's that done. Let's get this finished off and I am going to end this episode. Thank you very, very much for watching. Please remember to hit the like button if you like this video. Subscribe to the channel for more videos on Transport Fever Series 2, The Great Lakes. Leave a comment in the comments box below letting me know what you think. And don't forget that Series 3 is not too far away or Season 3, however you wish to call it. And that's going to be even more in-depth than this one and even more fanciful. You guys are absolutely absolutely going to love what i have in store for that last but not least do support me on patreon link to that is in the description box below your support would be massively massively appreciated and it's going to help me out a huge huge amount should we have a look at the track speeds over here there you go there's our new track to thunder bay we need to do the opposite way section but i think we can handle that but aside from that that i think looks Pretty, pretty cool. Yep, it looks like a river over here. But there we go. I think that might even be the thumbnail. Something like that. Just showing showing where the track goes. So there you go. There's our thumbnail as well. Thank you very much for watching once again. And I will see you guys next time in Transports Fever.